And will the race go fast or will it go slow mm. for you, DJ? <laughs> You're going to be racing in the Lakeland Derby. Are you excited I'll, about that? I am excited. And I, I appreciate you for getting pregnant and, uh, <laughs> you know, where you could get out of doing all that paddling. That's the only reason I got pregnant was to get out of <laughs> that's, of that's what I figured. You timed Derby. it. It's a tough race. It, a lot of fun. You know, we went out there and practiced and... So I'm just pedaling away, and uh, I look over at uh, Jessica, who's gonna, who's pinch hitting for Melissa, for, you know, for the race here, and she's sitting over there eating Cheetos, with her legs propped up, <laughs> eating Cheetos and drinking uh, like grape soda or something. And I'm like, girl, you better get the paddling and stuff. Jessica's our promotions director here at 97 Ketry. Works really hard, but she's got it down. You were bragging, man. You brought your keg last time we talked. You had your keg in there. You were saying, Raj, I can't pedal this boat because I don't have enough room. I said, the keg is for the party after your win. <laughs> You've got this one. Pull it out up. of the paddle boat <laughs> the good thing about the keg it kind of balanced things out because you know if you get if you get your boat a little bit forward it kind of helps out a little bit and how know? are you going to do that i don't know now i'm gonna have to use my uh my keg my, my stomach <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like all the other teams they have these really buff like police officers and firefighters yeah, we're doing firefighters. And then, yeah. And there's some cyclists too DJ. some pre- professional <laughs> bikers and younger people too these two guys were uh paddling you know their boat around they went around like twice and we only made it you know we didn't even make it halfway across the lake well you're just going to go real fast straight so keep that steady on the wheel don't go crooked because then you'll lose for sure and you never know what's going to happen you mm-hmm. just never know. don't ever give up because somebody could miss a pedal and fall off and they miss a you know it, it goes so fast you just never know what could happen dj yeah, i don't think these boats and you two have done this before I, yes. th- I don't think these boats were made for this kind of ra- you know they're made for paddling you know leisurely like a nice casual yeah stroll but not for the racing but so you got to kind of really uh think about it and really you know get your game going on it oh and by the way you're going to be on tv or video oh. on facebook yeah in uh in the atlantic is going to film your race because oh. they just <laughs> red they, sweaty face they, they oh. feel that you've got victory waiting for you oh. friday with lvin lakeland volunteers in medicine and bobby and Joan are here to talk more about what the swan derby is all about coming up next but dj needs some help you know, you've kind of given us some tips that you're using, but you really haven't been concrete. You're not really sold on your ideas, we can tell. Well, you know, I've been getting all these different ideas, but all of them involve, like, um, liquid help, if you know what I'm saying. You know, and I, I want to try to do something that's, you know, I don't need that. It'd be awesome. You know that dog on the commercial? The What is the bulldog that is last in the race, then he ends up first, turns around? Maybe you could spin the swan around backwards and, and come across the finish line backwards and really make an impression with everybody. Roger, it's a swan boat a race, not smoking the bandit where I so- slide the Trans Am in sideways and shoot dust in the sheriff's face. Well, as good as you and Jessica are going to do, you can do whatever you want to do. 97 Couple country. circles. Do you have a tip? He's a drink a couple of them NOS bottles there. It's one of nitro, you know. <laughs> you can maybe give a little bit to that swan, too, there. Look at that boy go! That's it. <laughs> on smoke on the water. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a good morning. You too. You too. <laughs> so what about you? Do you have any tips for DJ and Jessica in the Lakeland Swan Derby? We had another guy call in and say, hey, we're going to put a chili dog on a stick in front of him and win is guaranteed. Well, I was thinking if it was inner tube races, all I'd have to do is eat some pork and beans the night before, and I'd win that race right off the bat. <laughs> well, we could feed the swan for you if you want. <laughs> The Lakeland Derby coming up on Friday. DJ the trucker stepping in. He's going to drive the swan through the celebrity sprint race. Needs all the help he can get. Believe it or not, have him get a pillow and put it in a garbage bag, a stiff pillow. It'll raise you up and give you better uh, momentum on pedaling because you're the way you sit in the paddle boat. Roger, you and I have been in this race. Do you think that would disqualify them? Shh, this <laughs> is too good of a tip. I'm not sure we want to Just release this on the air because this is kind butt. of one of the tactics to play this pants. thing out. You're very, <laughs> yeah. very smart. What's your name, man? Lynn Harris. Well, we might have to give that a try. See if it's legal or not. He's so and, excited and to put a diaper on him. Butt dry. There you go. Man, you do get major swamp butt after that race, I'll tell you. They do need to grab the monkey butt at the store. Mm -hmm. Well, he needs some 190 proof Everclear, you know, like Granny's rheumatism medicine. I do. I do need that. You know, that that would eliminate the keg because it's a little stronger and smaller. And And I'll bring the straw. Granny cramp it. (laughs) <laughs> Some great tips and all benefits. LVIM, Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine. Bobby Yates, Joan Eby here to talk about that. We're looking forward to the Swan Derby, the Lakeland Derby coming up Friday, Bobby. Well, we are too. Good morning, guys. Morning. Welcome back. Can you believe it's been a year? It has been a year. This happens every year this time. We get together for a big community event sponsored by Rooms to Go. All the proceeds go to support the uninsured in Lakeland at Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine. A big day planned starting at 5.30, um, 
early races, music. Brooks and Don will be there. And I have to be very clear. Let's be clarify. Don. Don. I, 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 I didn't say that clearly once, and I had a whole excited room. They're getting back together. They're getting okay, back together. Okay, so they haven't broken up. Brooks and Don are still Don. together. Absolutely. Okay. Right. But they're going to kick off the show, and then we're going to have, um, uh, we'll, we'll close the show with fireworks, and in between we'll have children's activities, plenty of food. We're selling super tickets again this year. So, great prizes. Uh, great prizes. Ten oh. prizes, a trip to uh, Las Vegas, I think, mm-hmm. and New Mexico. There you go. New Mexico, a $1,000 technology package, um, rooms to go, gift certificates. It's just going to be a lot of fun, and it's free to the community. And wear your derby hats. Absolutely. The ladies love the hats, right, Joni? Oh, absolutely. Then, then people, it's very competitive, Melissa, as it you is. know, with hats. We have a whole group of people that come down, and there's about 50 of, of them in it, and they all decorate up their hats. And we have lovely handmade ceramics ones to share as the prizes. So we've increased our kids' activities. We have um, a, corn, a cornhole toss, actually, and a bounce house, which I, you will come to appreciate in a few years, Melissa, because you just <laughs> I will put be them in, in there. The and bounce house. Yeah, they are, they're in there forever. You have to drag them out of there. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have increased our children's activities. Um, it is a free event for the family, and, and we thank Rooms to Go for allowing us to present this to the community. Um, we have a five dollar meal from uh, Fred's uh, Southern Kitchen, so you don't have mm. to worry about bringing food. Uh, we'll have wine and beer available for sale as well, so you don't have to drag that that cooler down the promenade, you know, with it all the everything bouncing around in there and getting all nice and bubbly. So, um, we'd love to see you. it. Starts at five thirty. Um, bring your kids, bring, bring your dog if you'd like to. Um, Insult to Earth would be our second band. Um, so we're excited about that. So come on down and join us. And the weather is going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it, it all is. benefits LVIM. So it's fun for the whole family. And hey, DJ the trucker is going to win the sprint race. So <laughs> make your p- right. bets on that one. Yeah, because I'm going to have to bungee tie uh, Jessica in there where she'll paddle. <laughs> Help me paddle. <laughs> Bobby and Joan, thanks for coming in. We have a website. We get some more information. Uh, that would be lakelandderby.com. And we will see you on Friday. Thanks, thanks guys. Looking forward to Thank you so much.